everyone, it's Kyle Wood here at Playa Sonora Realty. Thank you for joining us. I am your, going to be your moderator or host or I don't know, broker, however you want to look at it. I have uh, <laughs> Julie and uh, Artie on the line with us. Hello. Say hi, Julie. Say hi, Artie. Hey, hello. There's Julie. It's, um, Listen, I just wanted to say, if uh, you want to keep receiving uh, these video updates, uh, please uh, just shoot us a, a, a like, thumbs up uh, on, your, on your email that, that you're viewing this on, or you can go to our YouTube channel, uh, YouTube, uh, Porto Panasco Mag. One thing, I, I, I just wanna say something personal about what's, what's been going on here at, at our house. Um, Many of our, our listeners, our viewers know that I, a couple of years ago, I talked about my daughter, Riley, who at that time was five years old. We were planning to put her in school down here. And uh, she ended up going to school. Uh, it was uh, 12 months ago already this summer. I know statewide, the schools were, uh, were shut down about two months ago. And SEMA, the school that, that, that she goes to, bilingual, English and Spanish, uh, some French, um, they converted to all online via Zoom. So for the last two weeks, she's been attending Zoom classes. Each teacher has their own Zoom number. And she's, my daughter has, has learned to navigate how to get into certain Zoom meetings. And then, uh, um, you know, they go through their 40 minute sessions and then she has a 10 minute break and then she's on to a next session. So she's had her Spanish, uh, English classes, mathematics, uh, dance upstairs on the patio. She's been practicing her dance and also physical education. She's been doing, doing that as well. Uh, so I can't say enough for what the school has been doing uh, here she has homework and believe me there's a lot of homework <laughs> uh, yeah, I've heard that. Uh, you know so on top of trying to run our business and uh, you know I have to get her through her day and then do her homework for her because it's all the homework's going to be due at once at, when when the when the uh, school semester ends so I have to hand it to the school. I'm very impressed with what they've done, uh, how they've adapted, um, and also the kids. I, it, the kids are so cute. I get, you see kids with their glasses turned like this, or they're rocking back and forth, or like this. God bless the teachers for being able to put up with that. I tell you, I, I have more respect for the teachers now, not, now that I actually see it in person, so. Anyways, that's just a personal thing that I wanted to relay to uh, some of our viewers uh, to let them know how my daughter's uh, progressing. So what's going on in your, your part of the uh, world, Julie, over there? You're, you're in town, are you not? Uh, you live in town? I live in town. How's, I... how's it going? Well, now the town is kind of quiet. I was telling Arte early this morning that I went to the, the office Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, pretty much like around noon, the car traffic was pretty much like regular basis, but after three or 4 p.m. started going. What I noticed is this, there's a lot of uh, uh, police, doing uh, traffic uh, checkups. And they also stopped by my office and they just wave the hand and they just ask me how many people are at the office and I just say, only me, so they, they never got in. So they just, they, they're checking. So, so, they they are, so they are doing the rounds then. They did stop at your office. I heard that, that they were doing that. I, I, yeah. I didn't know anybody but, personally. But the thing is, I was, I mean, I was at the office, but the, the open sign was off. And I just told them, you know, I'm just doing paperwork and I by myself. So they were okay. Even though if you're not essential, I mean, but if it's only one people and then you're close and you don't have any problem. But yeah, and, and they said that from the beginning, uh, you know, they said the measures are extreme, 
Um, but if we take these per extreme precautions now, it'll be more beneficial in the end. And, but you know, there's still some people that don't um, follow the rules, you know. Um, unfortunately, there's still people trying to um, come in through the desert, through the back ways. Um, unfortunately, there's still people, because they think, you know, it's extreme and they want to be able to come and go and do whatever they want. So. The permanent residents at the resorts are, aren't, aren't being able to take advantage of the uh, resort facilities. Um, there's a, there's a lockdown at like Las Palomas, Las Palmas, the Sonoran resorts. You can't even go around and use the resort, uh, resort facilities. I know that the city had sent, um, inspectors over to Las Palomas. We own two at Las Palomas. And, uh, I know for a fact that they, the city was there, uh, checking to see that Las Palomas was following the quarantine procedures. So even if you are a resident, you're not able to use the beaches or the uh, resort facilities. So we're all trying, trying to make do. Now, I have heard that um, they had hoped to maybe open up the city itself, just the city, for normal business by the 7th of May or the 10th of May. Is that, is that your understanding as well? Well, uh, I've heard the same, but so far it's not official. Yeah. So far it's not official. What they are saying, they, they will start it uh, gradually, as in other parts, opening, as you said, just the town, not for tourism, just for the local activities and start just generating the movement and the economy to just slowly get back to normal. But uh, it's not uh, it's not official yet. They are just talking about it. Uh, Artie, any thoughts on that? As no, well? same thing as Julie. I heard they had a meeting. Uh, I think it was Friday or Saturday, um, yeah. and they just threw around some ideas. And I think they are probably going to have another meeting soon. But I haven't heard anything official. Um, but what I did hear is exactly what Julie said about just opening up the town. So people that are already here can move around more freely, um, but still not letting people in. T tell us, uh, Julie or, or, or Artie, about uh, uh, any conversations that you've had with clients uh, or prospects. Um, you know, how's, how's, uh, how's biz business been in general from a point of communicating with your clients? Um, it's been good. There's still people out there, you know, searching and looking and interested and they know that, you know, right now they can't come down, but they're still doing their searches and asking questions on certain properties and which is a very encouraging because that means once we can open then the, these people are going to come down and um, start looking in person. Um, but with the technology we have nowadays, with the video, um, you know, texting, emails, anything, um, it's really helpful and it's great. And you know, nowadays uh, there's a lot of videos for the properties online, so it's almost like you're viewing them mm -hmm. in person. Uh, so it really helps people get a really good idea. Yeah. Julie? Yeah, I, to I totally agree with Arte. Actually, I'm working with a client. She's looking for a property in town, and she obviously asked me, well, I don't know how soon I'll be able to go to Peñasco and check all the properties you sent. And I told her, well, don't worry. I can send you videos. You just let me know what, kind, what are the properties that you like from all the list and uh, selected properties that I sent and i'll be happy to give you a virtual tour on each of the properties that you have a real interest on is there is there anything else that you, you ladies uh, like to talk about well i just want to let you know that most of my, my clients are really kind of a uh, in a hurry to come to enjoy <laughs> peñasco the weather you know summer is here we have the best weather right now so they are just Kind of way to come and enjoy our little paradise. Yeah, yeah. Um, Especially you know, since over a hundred in Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. <laughs>
soon. Absolutely. Artie? Yeah, I mean, basically just what Julie said, you know, we're waiting here to welcome everybody with open arms. And um, we're in the meantime, we're here for you guys for any reason. Um, you know, if you own a house here, um, you know, reach out to us. If you need someone to check on it, um, or if you just have any questions in general or about specific properties or anything, um, you know, we're here. Uh, we're here for you guys. Uh, thanks, thanks, ladies. I appreciate uh, you you coming on and and, and telling everybody about your experience. Uh, we'll have another update for you uh, next week. And uh, thanks for joining us. Bye. -bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.